April 14th, 8.30 p.m. Visibility is good, and the horizon is clear. No icebergs in sight. She's a fine captain. All right. Jeez. Titanic is now steaming at over 22 knots, roughly 25 miles an hour. Very good. Carry on, Murder. She is almost at top speed. One of the most common explanations that people give for the cause of the Titanic disaster is that she was going too fast. And yet, when you look at the evidence, what you see is that captain after captain testifies to having experienced it to be totally safe to keep to full speed in ice in clear weather. Another legend has it that Captain Smith is drunk on duty, but he never drank at sea. Right. Get that. He's in command of Titanic because he's considered one of White Star's finest captains. Titanic is their fourth large ocean liner he's taken on its maiden voyage. That night, the weather was completely clear, so Captain Smith was doing only what all the other captains would have been doing, which is keeping a sharp lookout. The entire safety of Titanic now depends on the sharp eyes of the lookouts aloft. Frederick Fleet and Reginald Lee. Another thing that's been blamed for the Titanic disaster is that the lookouts didn't have binoculars. And it is true that binoculars were scheduled to be in the crow's nest, but they weren't in it for that journey. However, having read all of the inquiries and listened to testimony from the captains of all the major transatlantic liners, what I know is that the best way of spotting ice at night is with the naked eye. And binoculars are in fact for inspection of an object and not for detection of an object. And the last thing the officers on the Titanic wanted was the lookouts messing around with binoculars trying to verify what they were seeing. 